Hi, I'm Cheryl Banfield, and this is Emily Madre, and we are sharing this free course of uh, Stepping Into Your Light. This is an introduction to your light body, an introduction to your Illuminas, the light centers of the light body. And we're going to give you a bit of an overview first, and then we're going to move you through different aspects of your light body, in particular, your light centers, the Illuminas here. We have this diagram for you. Um, and we'll be moving through each of these light centers that represent 12 different aspects of how to move into your light. And so what we mean by moving into your light is that we are here in this human experience um, with our energy field and we are evolving. We are gradually moving more into an ele a more elevated way of living, a higher vibrational way of living. And our light body is a new energy field in a sense. It's, it's actually a light field. There's a little bit of a difference between an energy field and a light field. A light field holds you in a higher vibration, more of a divine vibration, uh, more of what we aren't able to access here easily in this earth plane, more of our spirit or our spiritual energy. This light body allows us to evolve to a point where we're able to hold more of our spiritual energy here in this plane. And many of you may have heard of the word ascension or enlightenment, awakening. Um, all of these words are related to our developing light body. So we're here to share information uh, about your light body that, that gives you sort of an easy structure, um, uh, a way to relate to this new field that's developing a new way to move more into what it means to be in a higher vibration living in your light. So we'll go ahead and, and we'll talk a little bit more about the light body and its structure, and we'll move more into uh, explaining these different aspects of being in your light. We're really excited to be sharing all of this information with you. It's a very, the light body system is a very intricate, detailed system with a lot of different parts um, that we can work with. Today, we're going to be, like Cheryl said, working with the Illuminas, the light centers, and they really allow anyone to be able to access their spirit in a more physical way, allowing that blend within our our daily lives, allowing us to be coming from a more peaceful space, really allowing us to be more connected into our spirit and bringing that through in all situations. So I want to just take a few moments to talk about our light body structure. So our light body is, as I mentioned, that new light field that is forming around us. And you can imagine it as being sort of a sphere around us. Um, in reality, it's forming this crystalline form that's more in the shape of, say, a dodecahedron. A dodecahedron, here I have a, a sample. It's a 12-sided geometric figure in sacred geometry known as representation of the universe. And in this sense, we're looking at as a sense of wholeness of all. And us as human beings are part of this higher, greater divine oneness. And in that, our wholeness of self can be represented as one big, large dodecahedron in a sense. So we are working with sacred geometry in a sense, um, uh, in this light, this light field that holds a crystalline energetic structure. And within that, we have our light centers, 
called Illuminas, and these light centers that run from 11 feet below our feet to 12 feet above our head all can represent different aspects of being in our light. And so what I mean by that is that we are able to move and shift and heal ourselves in a way of bringing ourselves into a higher vibrational, higher way of seeing uh, an expanded way of being able to hold our mind in more of a higher vibrational oneness state. Um, it allows healing within the body to be moved into a place of congruency within all, uh, allowing our egos to move into a more subtle place of an expansion in a higher vibration. And so allowing our beliefs, our concepts to move into a place of this higher divine light and love. So it allows us to begin experiencing through our body and in our mind a way to be with ourselves and a wholeness of ourselves, a very uh, peaceful, calm way of being, a more gentler way of being, holding ourselves in a fullness, in a, in a more healed way of being. Boy, that was really a long run-on sentence there. Um, so just trying to describe this higher vibration, we can imagine it as being able to be in interactions with others from a less triggered place within, uh, having whatever we have unhealed, whatever we're feeling, maybe insecurities or low self-esteem or ways of thinking that may limit us in our perceptions, it allows us to be more healed and less triggered in our experiences and in different interactions in life. So this can significantly change our relationships and the way we relate to the world, the way we relate to ourselves. It really is all about us bringing ourselves more into a peaceful, more congruent state within our own being allowing ourselves to feel more stable, grounded, and feeling more whole in self to then be able to outwardly relate and interact with the world from that place. So that place of being more peaceful, more loving, um, with a more grounded sense, more energetic boundaries within self, uh, coming more from that place of unconditional love and understanding, uh, coming from a place of a more expansive way of seeing things, allowing more perspectives, um, allowing ourselves to even be tapping more into our intuitiveness, into our higher self or spirit, allowing ourselves to be guided in different ways, um, and having a more blended experience with our spirit. So this can really move us into a very high vibrational way of living here on earth, in a sense, uh, with our divine self, more of a heaven on earth experience. So this light body structure, as I mentioned, being a big dodecahedron around us, holds within it these light centers. So you can imagine a big dodecahedron, that 12-sided shape, uh, outside of these light centers here. And we have these light centers lit up in this diagram, in this graphic, so that you're able to see that each one of these uh, light centers holds light and expands light. And so this light body structure, not only is it about filling ourselves with our love, our higher love, divine love, and higher divine light, not only filling ourselves with this higher energetic uh, way of being, but also being able to illuminate that love and light throughout our energy field. And so we can imagine this diagram here showing the light centers really representing uh, that light field in the outermost layer of our energy field. So this really is 
this is almost like a, a new realm that we're developing around us in a sense, because it's outside of our energy field that all of our energy is held within this. What makes it nice to work with these light centers is that we can access our, all of our energy field within it. So even though we're, we, we seem to be working with each individual light center, what we're really doing is tapping into the wholeness of all of our energy. So again, our 12-sided figure of the dodecahedron is also represented in each of these light centers. So each light center holds all aspects of all of self, all of our light centers. Do you have anything to add to that? Um, yeah, just that these, these light centers, the light body is, it gives us a, the crystalline form is I'm hearing it, it helps us resonate in that higher divine vibration. So in crystalline light, it gives us that resonance in the frequency of being able to tap in and hold more of that higher vibration of divine. And it does that because the earth's vibration has been rising itself over the past decade. Um, and these, this crystalline form, it has become more physical in this plane. It's become stronger, allowing that divine light, the light of our spirit to be actually physically held here in this plane. Um, it gives us a practical way of being enlightened, moving throughout our life in that enlightened state. And so many of you have, have probably, you know, heard about uh, miraculous, spontaneous healing that has been taking place where someone is about to go into surgery for something or, or someone has uh, some illness that all of a sudden, you know, they've, they've moved into a different state and it becomes healed. Uh, working with this light body, holding this uh, higher vibration accelerates our healing process. It allows us to access those divine frequencies, those more healed uh, frequencies of that higher state of well, wellness. And so, so we are able to bring in energy or, or in this light to shift our energy into a more healed state, even on a physical level. So you will find that when you're experiencing uh, this higher vibration, it really is a mind, body, spirit, and soul experience connecting you with that wholeness of self, mind, body, spirit, and soul, and allowing um, just unbelievable experiences to occur. So not only in your daily interactions, but also you'll notice within your health, your own health, um, changes and shifts that can take place. So this, this light body is really about experiencing life in a whole, whole new way, in, in an elevated way, and in accelerating your evolutionary process that's already taking place. This earth experience itself is about experiences. It's an experience. It's about us learning and growing and evolving. And, and so in a natural human experience, these things are taking place through our experiences. Healing is taking place. Evolving is taking place through our experiences. Working with our light body accelerates all of that. Uh, so I, I remember uh, going to the, I went to an osteopath um, for a condition and in that even the the osteopath was able to recognize that there was more light running and that what he was able to do for me in my own healing uh, was accelerated it was it was taking much less time for the sessions than what he often sees and so uh, this light body is really bringing us into whole new experiences in life. What this has done for us, what we have experienced has just been, it's amazing. It's just incredible. Um, the light body also, um, it's, it allows not just our, 
our human mind to raise in consciousness, but the way that the light body interacts with others and the way that the light body interacts with the earth itself, it raises the consciousness of all. Right. As each individual brings in their light and raises their vibration, it's impacting that interconnectedness with oneness with all. And so not only are we bringing this light into ourselves and radiating that out to others, it's also impacting the earth. It is helping shift. This is a grand shift that is taking place on this earth at this time. And each of us can do our share in it and allowing ourselves to come into a more healed place, raising our own vibration and allowing our light to be shared and to be connected with all and moving the whole earth into a higher vibration. So it's really an amazing, profound time. And I feel so blessed and and gifted to be able to have this type of structure to work with and relate to so easily and, and allow it to be a way that we can heal and evolve so much more quickly. So we're going to take some time to start moving into each of the light centers. So now we'll talk about each of the light centers, and we're going to be beginning with our first light center, 11 feet below our feet. So this light center is our base, our foundation. It's one of our foundational ones. Our first three light centers are our foundational light centers. So they're really, how do we hold ourselves in this plane, in a higher vibration? So, so our first light center being the base Illumina. So each of these light centers has two names, the base Illumina and also called the dais. Now, this is like a platform that we are able to stand on in a sense, be as a human here in a, an elevated higher vibration of our light. So that, that first light center, 11 feet below our feet, is our base Illumina. And that one is about being able not only to just stand in our light here, but also to be able to expand ourselves and allow our whole vibration to raise. So this Lumina is very nice to work with, it being the the first one, the, the one that is sort of like what we're standing on here in our light. Um, so we, I, I do have this book, The Illuminus of the Light Center, next to me. This was channeled in uh, from Mother Mary and Archangels, um, what I call Love Light Guides that we are working with. And so this book came in back in 2000, started coming in in 2010, uh, describing this light body structure that has given us a really beautiful way and a very powerful way of working with our own light and developing that. And so our first Illumina um, is, is that uh, foundation along with the second and third of how we are able to hold ourselves here in this plane in a higher vibration. So in this book, we're going to refer to it a little bit. It is, it is a book that can be um, um, purchased on Amazon or Barnes & Noble or Balboa Press, and, and it really holds a high vibration. The, the book itself can be a little bit challenging to read because it does have a vibration to it that will help you move more into each of these Uh, aspects of your light body into each of these light centers. And it gives you a little bit of a description uh, for each one and also brings through the energy for each one. So our first Illumina um, is, is our base Illumina or our dais. I feel like I need to read a little bit out of it. Or would you like to, Emily? I can read it here short. I just gave it a little bit. So. So this Illumina is considered our spiritual platform in the earth plane for expanding in our spirit. 
It is associated with our foundation of spiritual strength and our divine consciousness as a human being. This light center is an opening or gateway to other energies in the earth plane and our expansiveness in this physical experience. This Illumina begins our transformation from being a human with a spirit to a spirit in the physical form. As our vibration rises, we hold more of our spirit's energy, energy and abilities allowing us to begin interacting and experiencing the earth from our spiritual perspective and attributes. So very powerful. Each of these has a, a very uh, powerful aspect, as you'll see as we move through each of them, for moving us into that higher vibration, moving us more into our light, for that, that transformation, for that evolving, for raising our vibration, for our enlightenment, our ascension. Um, this is really bringing us into a state of divine oneness with all. So let's move on to our second light center. Our second light center being very powerful. And this is the one where we would stabilize and align all of our energy. So our light, second light center is uh, four feet below our feet. That one is where we can anchor in our energy, in our vibration. Uh, so as I mentioned, stabilizing, grounding is what we can think of. A lot of times we like to uh, find or we find or we've heard to ground into the earth, which can be a really lovely, uh, settling, uh, really feeling grounded in yourself and your energy. Well, in your light, you're going to want to ground in the higher vibration and that you can do with your second light center. This this I'll give you a quick exercise with that. You can. Uh, imagine that light center gently spinning in either directions, and that can help stabilize all of your energy. We also use that one for aligning. Um, so that one can be, and when we're working with that one, we can be in full alignment with our divine self, with our mind, body, spirit, soul, all the way connected into the divine. Would you like to read a little bit about, about yes. our second? And I didn't mention the <clears throat> the second one is also called the radix. It's uh, the it's earth alumina. The earth alumina. So la located four <laughs> feet below your feet. Um, it is our link to being grounded in the dais, so the first light center, and earth, and stabilizes our upper light centers, aligning us in the divine plane. This light center stabilizes all of our internal and external energies and is supportive for evolving for our evolving ascension work, aligning our energy with our divine vibration. By working with this Illumina, we can experience stabilization in our energy in any situation. Our internal and external energies can be aligned simply by simply imagining this area spinning. This techniques, technique provides a feeling of being settled in our energy. It brings our energy into alignment with our true intentions and divine direction, allowing us to be in the flow of our higher guidance. So again, here's a really powerful as aspect for us to be in our light, to be grounded, stabilized, and aligned with all of self. So now we'll move to our third light center, which is around our feet. So our third light center. This one is about balance. This one is about being able to accept ourselves as a spiritual being in this, in this human experience. So it's really more about balancing the physical and the spiritual rather than just simply being in balance with self. So in addition to being in balance with mind, body, spirit, soul, this is also being able to really accept and be in full balance in each day our spirit and our physical equally. So for the third light center, it's the balance illumina or the tetrad. This illumina creates energetic balance with our spiritual and physical bodies. 
working with this Illumina opens awareness of a true sense of spiritual self, allowing a shift from the human experience into a more spiritual experience in the physical form. By evolving this Illumina, we are tipping our vibration to live from more of a spiritual vibration and approach life from that perspective for the human process, deepening divine understanding and dismantling belief systems we have previously lived by. We can walk on the earth grounded in our spirit rather than grounding into the energy of the earth. Balancing with our spiritual self supports our divine work in the earth plane. We are here to help the earth shift and help others evolve. Being in our divine light allows us to give as well as receive with ease and grace. Together as one, togetherness as one, we are in divine oneness, moving this planet to the vibration of love and peace. So again, another really powerful aspect of being able to be in that higher vibration of our light. So those are our foundational light centers. Those are the ones that we would work with to really accept ourselves as a divine being, to allow ourselves to start moving more into our higher vibration and accepting that it really is okay to be a human being and allowing ourselves to have that compassion and love to move into a higher vibration for ourselves with our spirit. So a full acceptance of self. So we have our first one that is really our base here, our foundation, our second one to stabilize and align us, and our third one to really provide acceptance that we are a spirit here in this plane and that we can have that balance of both that spiritual aspect of self and human aspect. And so when we have that full acceptance and we have that that more of an expanded awareness of ourself, really of ourself in uh, divine oneness, in a sense, it's like those three can really bring us into an alignment with more of a wholeness of self. I'm accepting myself. I'm ready. I'm willing to move more into a deeper place with myself to release and to be able to uh, come into a higher vibration with all. So we'll move into our fourth light center, which is around our knees. So our fourth light center, um, I like to think of this one as if we are strong in our own energy, then our, our knees don't really buckle. You know, if you think about how you can go weak in the knees in a sense, So it always reminds me around your fourth light center, what that one really is about is being able to be strong in your own energy, really um, stabilizing and strengthening your energetic boundaries. Where do I begin and where do I end in a sense? And in a sense, I don't end at all in that spiritual space and that divine space. However, I do have some sense of ending and individuality in my human experience? And how do I blend the two? How do I come into harmony with my spirit, harmony with others, with other energy? And that's really bringing myself into that higher vibration of strength within self that I can stand strong in any situation, in any interaction, not in a way of fighting, but in peace and higher divine understanding of allowing things just to be. And so this is a very powerful, uh, the light center for myself in a way of strengthening who I am as an individual and at the same time, fully opening to me in a more expanded space of divine oneness of all. I am me, I am you, we are all one together. And if I have that sense of understanding that I am just experiencing humanly as others are, I can stand more in my strength, have that energetic boundary of being able to be fully present in all experiences. So the fourth light center is the harmonious illumina or the exosensor.
The fourth illumina is the harmonious illumina called the exosensor. It is located around the knees and is a connection to our external energies and a sensor of other energies in or around our energy field. This illumina allows recognition of who we are as energetic beings and helps us maintain our energy in various experiences. This illumina allows us to maintain our energy harmoniously around various vibrations. It helps us shift and navigate in our energy as a spiritual being. So again, another very powerful, and I, I want to say it every time because these light centers are so powerful. They bring so much healing uh, and, and raise our vibration in a way that it just, it's, it accelerates and, and the strength that, that we can hold within our light is just incredible. Um, so let's move to our fifth light center around our abdomen. And as you know, a lot of times we experience a lot in our abdomen. And so this is really the area uh, from just below our sternum in our, down to our pelvic area, about, um, you know, about a few inches below our, our coccyx. So this whole fifth light center area is really about our interpretation of self. A lot of times we hold within our bodies experiences that we've had through our life. You know, we can, we can feel something in our stomach move in certain situations or a fear, you know, might come up and we can, we can feel that inside of ourselves. Um, so a lot of times we're holding stuff within our, within our bodies that we're experiencing somewhat in this area. Uh, but this fifth illumina is really giving us an opportunity to see ourselves in an, a more expanded, a more divine way. And allowing all of this to heal our, our misinterpretations of ourselves, our mi misperceptions of self, where we think or feel or experience in a less than way. And so this is really bringing us back into a wholeness of self. Our fifth light center is allowing us to heal and move more into a wholeness of self. So the fifth light center is the power illumina, the core deus. It is located around the abdomen and supports higher consciousness of self, self-empowerment, sense of self, and self-reflection. It is associated with our core intentions as we are awakening to our spiritual abilities and life path. This light center blends our spiritual and physical sensuality and higher awareness of our role in this physical existence. This illumina is an opening to discovery of our true nature. Our true nature wants to resolve. Ultimately, all disruption is from within. We can heal over this illumina to bring ourselves into our core knowing that we are perfectly divine. We are not defined by this earth experience. We are defined by the pureness of our divine self. This is very powerful, very powerful for self, for healing and accepting self, for who we truly are. And now we can move to our sixth light center, which is around our chest and throat area. So our sixth light center is about divine love and divine truth. Who are we truly? And what are we truly made of? Who are we? Divine love. We really are divine love. So this light center allows us to move more into that vibration of divine love, to live more from that place, to have love for self, um, acceptance of self, and allowing ourselves to give to ourselves, to love ourselves, and to be able to allow that to overflow to others. So the, light, the Sixth Light Center really holds that concept of bringing in a higher vibration of divine love, filling or fulfilling self, filling, filling self with that love and allowing that to flow over to others. Uh, so divine love has a very high vibration to it. It's not about an emotion. 
it really is truly about a vibration of frequency that is held of full acceptance of all. So you can go ahead and... So the sixth light center is the divine illumina or the Heland. It's located around the heart and throat areas. It is associated with divine self, which is our divine love and divine truth. It assists with the release of ego and expression of divine self. This light center supports rapid transformation, the connection and awareness for divine love, and unconditional love of self and all in the universe. We are love. Love is our basic building block. Humans are built on love. It is our true nature. Love, pure divine love, comes from our spirit. It is still peaceful, expansive, and unconditionally flowing energy from within us. Divine love is our love for ourselves as our perfect spiritual energy. So working with this Illumina provides a deeper awareness in divine self and healing for our energy to shift into a higher vibration for easier recognition and experiencing of divine love. That's beautiful. So the power of the six light center is all about divine love and love for self. Now we're going to move to our seventh light center, which is around our head. This is a very powerful light center as it does hold many aspects of the expansive mind and, and allowing us to shift our perspective, to open to more possibilities and to allow a higher processing in our mind uh, without the limitations of our stuff or our, our, our unhealed uh, way of being with how we see things. Um, our seventh light center allows us to access so much more. It's also that midpoint of going from our human experience, really experiencing and, and the way we're relating humanly to things, more into our spiritual light centers that are above our head. So we, we talked about our first three light centers being our foundational light centers when we just moved more into our light centers that more of our that are more of our core of who we are of transforming us into coming back to that reality and that remembrance of who we are as divine beings so with our seventh light center sort of being at that midpoint of then moving more into our spiritual the first six being more of our physical light centers, we're now moving into our spiritual light centers. So you can go ahead and read about seven. So the seventh light center is the confluence alumina or the centrix. It is the central energetic meeting place of the mind, body, and spirit, connecting the lower aluminas with the upper aluminas. This alumina supports integration and balance of these three aspects of self for spiritual expansion and growth. Our seventh Illumina is a transition point into our spiritual-based Illuminas. We are experiencing the human aspects from a spiritual viewpoint, whereas our lower light centers, or lower light Illuminas, one through six, are coming from the human viewpoint. As we work more with our upper light centers, we begin to experience our life from our spiritual perspective. Our experience in this plane is associated with our level of awareness. As our awareness is elevated and expanded, the more easily the lower six light centers flow. Working with this Illumina creates a shift in our vibration to transpose our way of being as a human with a spirit to a spirit in human form. The emphasis becomes our spiritual way of being and approaching life's experiences. 
And so now with the seventh light center, being able to bring through that more expansive opening to our spiritual perspective, our way of being, we now move up to our eighth light center, which is about a foot above our head. So the eighth light center holds the vibration of no space and time. It holds a vibration for expansion in the non-physical, the non-form. And it allows us to move more into a space of holding our spiritual vibration and seeing from a greater awareness, experiencing from that place of a greater awareness of more that exists. So the eighth light center is the awareness illumina or the trans point. It provides greater awareness of higher consciousness, clarity, and transparency of reality. It allows rapid awakening to universal harmony. This light center accesses past, present, and future and provides the ability to operate in timelessness for healing and transforming. Working with this Illumina allows a playful and expanded way of using our perspective and moving our energy. Allow an expanded perspective to see the small and big and big and small. Shifting perspective can allow a sense of expansion of form to no form in reality. Sense being a part of the universe. Fluidity provides no room for disruption within our energy and nothing is held on to. And it provides grace and ease, peaceful in our divine vibration. So our eighth illumina, <clears throat> so oftentimes we experience that no space and time in the very small, in moments that when we're not really thinking. Those moments where you may notice something in nature like this butterfly. And if you're just happening to watch it and kind of just be with it without even thinking, it can really bring you into this whole other space. It starts bringing you into a higher vibrational way of, of seeing something so much bigger, of feeling something and experiencing so, something so much more. And so naturally we have these experiences and a lot of times we're not aware of them unless we've taken the time to slow down, taken the time to be peaceful and allow these, those experiences to happen. And what the eighth light center does is allow us to accelerate and be more in those experiences in everyday life, to be able to incorporate those types of experiences into our everyday process, allowing accessing of more of our awareness and being more present in every day. So now we're gonna move into our ninth light center, which is two feet above our head. And the ninth light center helps with our connection with our spirit. And again, this is one of those um, uh, experiences that we have in normal every day, when we've slowed down and, and again, when we're not paying attention, oftentimes you could be driving your car more for a distance and, and your mind starts wandering and your mind starts going into a place of, of receiving information or realizing things. Um, so that's just a really gentle way of starting to connect with, more with your spirit and actually listening to your higher intuition. And a lot of times people have learned how to do that, to really tap into their intuition, tap into that connectedness with their spirit. And this light center brings it into a whole new level. This really brings it into, again, integrating it into all of our experiences, into meetings, into relationships, just really living more in that connected way with our own spirit and allowing ourselves more of that intuition, being able to move more into our spiritual gifts. 
This Illumina evokes wholeness of self in all of our essences. It is associated with connection to our higher self and interactions with higher self. It opens us to a state, a higher state of consciousness, and a sense of connection with our true divine being. This Illumina brings us into living through our higher self. Working with this Illumina enhances our connection to our higher self in everyday experiences. We can embrace our higher self for direction and guidance for the flow of everyday living. This Illumina raises our vibration for a relationship with our spirit and moves us energetically to become one with our spirit. What we experience and how we experience it does not have to be separate from our spirit. With understanding and allowing an expanded perception, life can be an active spiritual experience with awareness of a level of peace, love, and joy. We are our own destiny. Establishing a relationship with self embraces the feeling of not being alone. You have your divine self. So this one's a very powerful Illumina in the sense that it does bring us into this higher connection. Oftentimes, you know, we find that people are looking for connection in life, which is humanly is something that, that is beneficial for all. We all need connection because we have this greater inner knowing that we really, truly are all connected. But when we're looking for it externally, we're, we're always going to be trying to seek something because within ourselves, that connection with our spirit, with our higher self, is what we're truly seeking. And this Illumina contributes to and allows us that greater connection more quickly. It really brings us into that vibration of really knowing that we are not alone, that we really are who we are in our higher self and connected with all. And so now we're going to move into our 10th light center, which is about three feet above our head. And our 10th light center, you can imagine that energy is information. So all energy, all energy is information. Our 10th light center is about being able to access all energy really opening up as a channel of all, allowing ourselves to move more into our spiritual gifts. So this is where we can develop our clear senses, our clear sentience, our clairvoyance, our clear cognizance, our clear audience, all of the clairs in the way that we physically have senses. However, in our spiritual higher vibration of accessing and more from that that um, spiritual place, we can tap into our senses that are reflected humanly in that higher vibration. So that sense of, of knowing all, um, the sense of seeing things. So this is all of our non-form senses. Those can be developed with our 10th light center. And our 10th light center is basically saying to us that we are a channel of all information. We're part of that energy of all, and therefore we can access all. So when we move into that higher vibration, there is no separateness. We can access and be part of all. So the 10th light center is the telepathic lumina. The this star. Say that right. The tenth illumina is the telepathic illumina, located three feet above our head. It supports and opens us to our spiritual vision, telepathic and intuitive connection, and communication. This illumina expands insight and visibility and allows a greater ease in communicating with angels and guides. Working with this Illumina raises our vibration for awareness of communication beyond this plane and to experience communication on all levels. 
It expands our abilities and the clear essences for daily living. It opens us to the awareness that self is a divine channel. Divine love and light throat flows through us in each moment. Light holds information of the universe. We are all energy connected to all energy. When we stay in our light, we are aware as a divine channel. So again, another aspect that is so powerful for us moving more into that higher vibration of our light. We'll now move to our 11th light center, which is four feet above our head. And so this light center is about our multidimensional self. We are more than this existence, more than this plane. We exist in all realms. So this is even beyond, say, past life experiences that can be included in that. All of our experiences throughout all lifetimes and also in any experience that is um, beyond this realm. So our self in the divine plane, our self in other experiences. So whatever the understanding or interpretations are in that multidimensional universe, the multidimensional self as a being, uh, this allows us an alignment. As I had mentioned, the second light center was an alignment. This is an alignment in our spiritual energy in the sense of all of self in all dimensions and all planes. So this allows us to become congruent within all of our experiences, healing to be able to take place in one alignment with self for whatever we're experiencing in all dimensions. Um, this light center also opens up some more to the awareness that there is so much more within the universe and within the cosmos that we can access all as we are in the 10th light center and also being able to bring our experiences into our full purpose, into our full meaning and understanding of ourselves in all dimensions and time and space. So the 11th light center is the connection alumina, or the daoli. It allows greater self-awareness and connection in all dimensions, planes, and all existences. It supports expanded awareness of multidimensional self, connections in other planes and dimensions, and a greater sense of oneness. Healing through this Illumina allows a feeling of balance in this plane with our infinite spirit and being a part of everything. This Illumina helps with resolve around death and moving on in our spirit, allowing our spirit to flow. So as we move into these upper spiritual Illuminas, they really are bringing us into a very expansive way of being in a higher vibration with ourselves here in this plane. It can move beyond um, what is easily understood with the mind, but allows us to hold that sense of self in a more balanced, grounded way in that higher vibration. So we're going to move to our Wealth light center about five feet above our head. And I just love this light center. Not that I love the others. They're just all amazing to work with. Um, the, so the 12th light center is really about divine, really moving into that vibration of divine knowing and sensing self as a full divine being. Uh, this is a place where we can find infinite joy, infinite peace, infinite knowing that all exists in divine love and light. And I'm just going to allow Emily to move into reading about it because as we get into these higher ones, 
it's harder to explain all the aspects that they hold within that light center for are evolving because they are so big. They are so expansive and of so not form and beyond what our human mind is used to. So, so before I read, I'll just um, offer a quick exercise. If you're feeling um, not grounded, you know, with the energy that is coming through with this video, you can use the exercise we talked about in the beginning of imagining four feet below your feet is your second light center. And you can imagine it spinning in either direction, allowing all of your energy to balance. And you can do that at any point, um, anytime you're feeling like you want to ground yourself, um, balance all of your energies within and around your body. So the 12th light center is the perceptual illumina or the lumis. It is an illuminating light center for divine wisdom and divine self. This illumina supports a higher understanding of cosmic reality and perception. It is a connecting place of soul self and divine oneness. This illumina accesses full recognition of divine within self, realization of self, and sense of being in divine oneness. Working with this illumina can move us into full resolve in oneness with self. This allows full compassion and understanding that all is an extension of self. Pure manifestation of reality is through divine perception. We can be in our divine wisdom, viewing our life experiences from a distance, bringing in the divine perspective of this lifetime is just a moment. So powerful. And of course, we have our 13th light center. Now, I talked about the 12 light centers, the six uh, physical ones that are one through six, our six spiritual ones, uh, seven through 12. And <clears throat> the wholeness of all of them hold different frequencies to actually move us and shift us into a higher vibration. So each time we're working with all of them, it gives us the opportunity of really shifting and moving all of our energy. It allows healing to be taking place. It allows us to bring in more light and divine love. And our 13th Illumina, which is 12 feet above our head, is a little bit different because that's more of a gateway between our earth experience and our divine experience so in a way it's a it's that opening a gateway to divine it maybe mm -hmm. for some people they could they could think of it as uh, our own our access through the veil um, so we can have these experiences with our 12 light centers in a sense 12 steps 12 essential steps of being in our light or to being in our light, uh, 12 essential keys to bringing ourselves into divine light, our own divine light, stepping into our light. So to wrap this up, um, just going back over what this all means is we now have a way of working with our own energy with a light vibration moving through these 12 essential keys to living in an elevated divine experience, blending our spirit and our human for essentially our experiencing heaven on earth, moving ourselves into more peace, more love, more understanding, more strength, more power within ourselves of this higher vibrational way of being with others, being with ourselves in a wholeness. So 
So we thank you so much for joining us with this course, uh, moving through our 12 light centers up to our 13th light center, the gateway, that opening. In essence, our that oneness, our access to oneness of all part of that oneness and being able to uh, accelerate our evolving process. And again, we have our book, The Illuminous, The Light Centers of the Light Body, that can give a better understanding. Um, if you're looking to purchase that, uh, it also holds a very high vibration to it and holds the different vibrations and frequencies for each of these light centers. And as Emily had mentioned, as we got further into the light centers, you may be feeling more say pressure, people can experience the higher vibration in different ways, can make you feel a little bit lightheaded at times. Um, you can be experiencing different sensations. And so again, grounding in your second light center, just imagining that second light center four feet below your feet to be gently spinning allows you to ground and align in that higher vibration. Now these light centers, as I mentioned, are part of our newly evolving light body. This light body has been uh, really, uh, really started developing truly in more of a form in that crystal and light form in 2012 with the 2012 shift, forming more of that dodecahedron, as I, as I mentioned, that 12-sided form and uh, out allowing us to work very quickly and methodically in a way very relatable through these light centers to our ascended state of being in divine oneness, elevating our vibration. It lets us work in a very easy, very practical way um, to come into those ascension concepts. What does that look like? What does that feel like? Um, and working with each light center through um, intention, through meditation, through different energy work, through different courses, it really allows people to come into those concepts that people strive for through, you know, meditation. They they strive, they've been striving for it for um, centuries. Uh, it lets you come into those ways of being in such an easy way without having to practice, without having to try. It lets your body, your being on all levels shift into those vibrations so that you can just embody that. Yeah, it's really important to understand that, that, that this really is uh, an amazing, expansive tool, very powerful to be able to work with your light body in a way of, of bringing yourself to those, to that state, that altered state of being in a sense of, of uh, shifting into this higher reality of self as a divine being and actually allowing the body and the mind to shift and heal. Um, and a lot of people have been seeking it through meditation, as you mentioned, through yoga, through different practices, plant medicines. Yeah, it's all different, you know, uh, ways of people seeking this, this sense of self as divine and in experiencing the divine self. And this is a very natural, very easy way, a very relatable way of actually moving through these 12 essential steps, this, these frequencies of moving yourself into this higher vibrational way of being. It's, it's so exciting. These times are just amazing. And, and to have this tool, to be able to incorporate this tool into a daily practice, into uh, other modalities, um, is just phenomenal. The, the, and the, the results um, are so profound. You know, people have had miraculous experiences. So, so welcome to stepping into your light, your light body, and being able to heal and evolve 
uh, to bring yourself into an elevated way of being in a peaceful, loving, joyful way of knowing who you truly are, experiencing yourself in divine and allowing yourself to grow and heal and move into the amazing you that you truly are, you as a light being, your divine you. Blessings. <laughs>